Bésame, bésame mucho. Embrasse-moi, mon amour, je puis soumettre. Bésame, bésame mucho. Tous mes regrets d'un amour fait de tant de baisers. Oui, je sais bien qu'un beau jour on vient. Bésame mucho, embrasse-moi mon amour, je puis soumettre, le temps en fuite, ma chanson n'aura plus qu'un seul mot. everyone you might be wondering why the strange title and uh, song is the audio clear is it okay assalamualaikum kara chashu yeah the original song is called besame mucho it's in spanish but that version i played is actually in french except for the word besame mucho it literally translates to kiss me much so Kiss in, in French is bisou, B-I-S-O-U, so that, um, you know, there's one baker, her Instagram name is bisou, B-I-S-O-U-S, bisou à toi, bisou à toi. It's, it's not bisou, bisou à toi, but it's bisou à toi, it's kisses to you, that's what it means. And in Spanish, of course, it's besos. So, why the kiss thing is because we're making meringue kisses. I actually found um, egg whites in my in my fridge. <laughs> That's the reason why we are making those today. And I was actually going through many many recipes in Cookie Do. That's another thing you can do in Cookie Do. Depending on the ingredient that you have, you can search by key ingredient name. And I even specified that I wanted three egg whites. And I even looked up. You know, I I needed about 100 grams of egg whites because if usually, usually uh, one egg white is about, in baking terms, about 60 grams. So six times three is about 120, 100 to 120. So I found an, an American recipe that uses ounces and it matches 100 grams of egg whites, which is what I have. And it's called, it's actually of all things from, from a Halloween collection. It's called, uh, meringue ghosts so what they do is they pipe these uh, meringue kisses they make it quite big and then they add chocolate chips for the eyes i'm not going to do that it's the same ingredients it's basically egg white sugar and a tiny bit of salt and then we pipe them with a like a star tip or i'm going to use a french nozzle today and that's it super easy so let's get started okay meringue by the way manually is quite tough to make and you have to buy all those so weird um, I don't know I used to buy confession time I used to buy all those powders to just to make sure my meringue jelly <laughs> now I don't I leave it to my super kitchen machine the thermomix okay so we started off by preheating the oven to 275 um, Fahrenheit which is about 135 Celsius thank you Chef Google and then it says to line two baking sheets with parchment and set aside. So you have two options here. You can either line your baking tray with some baking paper or you can use like a cookie sheet and you can add your silicone sheet. So either way works. I personally prefer this option because it's more environmental friendly and you can reuse the sheets. But um, I understand that it's, it's uh, a bit pricey, especially for people who don't bake a lot. And you can always use this um, baking paper. So I'm going to do both. So we need two trays for that. And then we're going to start off the recipe with sugar. 
And this is the amazing part. The recipe is American, so suddenly it switches to nine and a half ounces, and I'm like, how many grams is that? No worries. The Thermomix is smart at heart. It switches temporarily to Imperial, from metric to Imperial. Uh, we live in Malaysia and we follow metric like most of the world, and it automatically switches to ounces. Isn't that cool? Yeah, and when you're done with the recipe, it will switch back automatically to metric. Okay, so I have here my sugar, which I pre-weighed, but you can see how it looks like if your uh, screen is big enough. So it's, it's weighing in ounces. It's so cool. Now it's 1.4, 1.5. Okay, so this is 9.5. And a biscuit, a glass of kipas. Is the sound okay? Should I turn off the fan? Walaikum salam, Madrina. Is the, the, the audio okay? Should I turn off the fan or is it okay? You let me know eh? if it's noisy. I'm going to turn it off. Okay, so now we have our sugar and we have to cover it because now it wants to grind the sugar for us. We don't need to buy any special sugar. It's going to grind for 20 seconds on speed 7. So we just follow the instructions. here on the screen and it says to insert the butterfly whisk so the butterfly whisk you either go visually which would be behind the highest blade or you go by feel so you put it in here and then you you move it a bit and then you compare to the other side whichever side has less movement and that's the right one okay uh, in this aspect it's better to go visually because the sugar is uh, quite hard to move but don't worry, when you get your Thermomix, I'm going to teach you how to do it. Okay, so for now, we insert the butterfly whisk, and then we add our egg whites. The egg whites have to be in room temperature. Uh, it says here, three and a half ounces of egg whites, that's about 100 grams, from large eggs, which is approximately three to four eggs, room temperature. So this has been outside, and it's already in room temperature. So again, it is switched to, it's still in imperial mode, so it's made by ounces. I never quite figure out how to calculate this. I just let my Thermomix to do it for me. Oh, perfect, 3.5 ounces. Okay, now we set that aside. And next, one fourth teaspoon of salt. Just a teeny tiny pinch of salt. Without measuring cup, okay? Again, as I, as I always say, by default, if the recipe doesn't say anything, you should always have the measuring cup on but today it specifies no measuring cup, so we take it off. Set this aside. And this is going to be for... Oh my goodness, 10 minutes. I have to add 10 minutes speed too. At 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, I missed that part. I have to cook something else then. Aku benda nak masak eh. Okay, jom kita cari recipe. So, bila dah jadi macam ni, bidang terjun. Okay, what do I have in my fridge? I have leftover bread. Let's make bread and butter pudding. Okay, I found one. It's got 4.9 rating. I will need butter, sugar, vanilla bean. 
whipping cream, full cream milk, four eggs. Tak perasa ni 10 minit. So it's just whipping nicely. I, I just want to scrape it a bit because some of the sugar is on top. And I can stop. And make sure your your all your implements are oil free. Because if you want your meringue to be jelly, your bowl, your butterfly whisk, your your spatula have to be oil free and you can do that by cleaning it with hot water and sorry. With a hot water and uh, vinegar. And because I I overlooked that it takes 10 minutes, I'm actually going to cook something else without preparation because I have to do something in the next 10 minutes so I can show you how I part the, the thing, okay? So now I'm going to make, because I have, uh, what I have in the fridge is uh, bread because it's fasting month, the kids haven't been eating that much bread so I have leftover bread, so okay, we're going to make our bread and butter pudding I will need sugar I'm going to grab some, I'm not going to use the vanilla bean this time because I have my vanilla, my vanilla um, paste. Remember I made it a few days ago and then we're going to need whipping cream and full cream milk. Okay. If you're not a baker, it's very difficult to achieve because you're, you're forever testing uh, how stiff it is. So a lot of people, they actually buy uh, pre some pre-mix. Use 
normal sugar. Because this is not actually baking, this is just uh, bread and butter pudding. And you can adjust the sweetness according to your preference. And then it's going to mill it for 10 seconds speed line. So they're interchangeable, you can actually borrow the lid from there. 10 seconds, speed 9. And then it's just a simple matter of adding the milk, cream, and eggs. Super easy recipe. Because I didn't put in the vanilla bean, I'm going to put in a bit of my, my vanilla paste. Uh, kalau tak biasa, you take about one teaspoon. Don't follow me. So we're gonna weigh our our milk and cream, 300 grams each. Banyak ni, 300 gram. Total 600. Very rich. Okay, I have extra bread in the fridge, but this is what we do with our leftover bread. Either we keep them for breadcrumbs, or we use them to make croutons, or you can reserve them for making meatballs because you need them as binder, or you can make bread and butter pudding. I mean, who doesn't love bread and butter pudding? And then you can easily make the vanilla sauce afterwards. So many possibilities. So 300 grams of whipping cream, and I'm done. And then I need the eggs. I need four eggs, and as usual, I'm gonna break the eggs one by one, just in case we get a bad one. This one, two. I'm just gonna use the. Ayang ni pun, I show you the hack. Tak payah nak grease. Ambil je benda ni. Ini shortcut dia. You have left over paper, you just um, rub the paper. Or you just take your entire block and just rub like this. Ha, baking hack. <laughs> yep. Quick and easy. And butter is nice for this because you get the taste of the butter. creatures, humans, before we, and then we get the aroma, and then after the aroma, we, only then we actually taste it. So when it looks good, and it smells good, then immediately our salivary glands go into action. Masa tu lah, terus rasa lapor. 
Tapi kalau tak cantik Kita pun turn off terus kan Sebab tu The colour The arrangement It all makes a difference Okay so it will look something like this And all you have to do is to pour Our mixture into Into the bread If you want in between you can put uh, You can butter each slice If you want it to be even richer And you can also put um, Chocolate chips ke Ataupun uh, Raisin ke, and then it's just a matter of pouring the thing in. So I'm gonna use about half of it because the other half I'll reserve for the other side. Cantik, very simple. And then we just bake it. What you need, okay? So this one I'm gonna set aside. Our bidang terjun bread and butter pudding. Nanti kita ambil gambar aja lah sebab baking lambat. Meanwhile, yang ni I have my I have my piping nozzle, I already, piping bag, I already cut off the end and I put a nozzle, I'm using a French tip today, big one because I'm lazy to make a long time, I just want one big blob like that. And then we remove butterfly whisk, okay remember when you want to make butterfly whisk, you don't split out, you have to wiggle, wiggle a bit, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle slightly, wiggle, 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 can I saw basket? Ah, what did keluar get dia? The keluar. Once it's loose, baru lah tarik dia keluar. Okay. Then sayang merang ni. It's beautiful. It's very stiff. It's very glossy. I'm going to show you shortly. Susah nak dapat ni kalau manual. Kalau tak biasa buat. Kalau tak biasa baking. So this is one of the things that you can do with the Thermomix. If you are not, even if you are non-baker. You can easily make a merang. So look at this. So beautiful. Okay. And um, I would recommend you don't put everything in in one go. You put maybe half only. Especially since I'm going to teach you a trick. Okay, I'm going to make just a little bit. I will make some that are completely white. And after this, I'm going to make some with the colorful lines at the sides. Okay, so yang ni letak tepi sini dulu. And then uh, we, we push it in. Nak bagi angin keluar. And take this one so you can see. And then it's just a simple matter of Nampak ke? Just want to make sure you can see what I'm doing And then it's just a simple matter of Just piping Literally just making blobs And then you like uh, Space them out a bit There you go And you get the meringue kisses Super easy right? And you can make them big or small. And for the actual baking, you're not actually baking it, but rather you are, you are drying it out, you're dehydrating it. That's why it's very low temperature, but it takes a long time. So the instruction says to bake it for 40 minutes and then to keep it in the oven for another 40 minutes. Look at that. And take and very nice. And then you leave it there for another 40 minutes and then to leave it overnight in the oven for about 3 hours to make it dry completely. Okay, so these are the plain ones. I'm going to teach you a trick how to have colorful lines at the sides. Super easy. You just need some um, food coloring. I have two here, purple and pink. And you need toothpick. So I'm going to dip first in pink because it's lighter, lighter in color. I'm using um, a Maricolor gel. So gel is always like thicker as compared to as compared to normal normal watercolor watercolor uh, food coloring. So what I do is I just make lines at the sides. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing with the purple. Um, when you are buying, if you are new to baking and you'd like to buy food coloring. Uh, gel type is better because it can uh, it will go well with buttercream. If you buy the water-based one, it will not it will it will affect your it will affect your it will affect your buttercream nanti. It will split. Okay. And then we add we add our the rest of our meringue. So I've already put in the lines. Now it's not so obvious yet, but I'm just going to dump the, the rest of my meringue inside. Then you'll see the effect shortly. 
super easy quick. This one I used to buy how much? Huh? Something like 19 ringgit. Satu balang kecil. And then my kids eat it in one go. And now, it's so easy to make, so cheap. Three egg whites. I can even sell this if I want to. Oopsie. Tak apa, tak cantik tak apa. Dia ada angin sikit, no problem. Nanti kita makan dia. Kalau tak nak, we can always scoop it and put it back in our bag. No problem. Okay, so color dia tak keluar lagi. But no problem, we just pipe like this. Okay, some of it dah ada pink sikit. Coba kan? So cute! And so easy. You can make these with your kids. I mean the bigger kids because uh, you need to have some control over the piping bag. And you try to make them the same size so that they will dry at around the same uh, the same time. Otherwise, some of it will be dry already and some will still be wet. Ooh, now I'm getting my color. I'm happy now. I'll show you shortly. I'm gonna give you a close-up look. So wonderful, super easy. Yang yang susah tu nak tunggu dia siap dia. Then after that they will just your kids will just eat it up. Just like that. Okay, yang yang rosak ni, I'm actually gonna yeah just take off the end. And wash my hand. Tunggu puasa kalau tak ada jilat dah. Okay. And can you see that? So nice. It's so colorful. And then these just go into the oven. They dry. Just like that. Super simple. So I hope you had fun today. If any request for any particular quiz so that I can do it uh, this month also. So we don't just make now, I maybe we can do some peanut cookies because they're also our favorite. Chocolate chip cookies, of course, are super easy. Even my seven-year-old can do it. That's another activity you can do with the kids. See? Can you see now? Very nice, cat. Huh. I'll just finish off the rest. Hi, honey. How are you? Saja, the jadi honey dan nama dia tak kau eh? Coba kan nama honey. For those who joined in, we are making ranks today from scratch using three egg whites, sugar, and a pinch of salt. And it was so easy, foolproof. Anybody can do it, even if you've never made meringue before. And I added some stripes of food coloring on the sides of my piping bag. That's how I got these lovely stripes in my kisses. So you get a head start on your queer idea. Especially certain recipes like um, sweet buns, they only use the egg yolk can. So you can use your egg whites for this. Okay, I hope you had fun. Join me again tomorrow for another quick and easy cooking session. And thank you so much for making Thermomix the world's best super kitchen machine and thank you for continuing to support me. Assalamualaikum dan selamat berbuka puasa.